lesson two, thirds, example two. Now this is a theory. The square root of a squared b is, we can split this up as the square root of a squared times the square root of b. And we know the square root of a squared is a, so this becomes just a root b. It's a very important process in simplifying thirds. Here's our first example. Now, you, if you broke that up into something like the square root of, say, 2 times 10, that won't uh, help you very much because you can't, you won't have a square here. So you're looking for a perfect square as a factor. And obviously the perfect square here is 4, so that's equal to 4 times 5, which is, of course, the square root of 2 squared times the square root of 5, which equals 2 root 5 as your answer. You can probably get from, from there straight to that step once you've got the idea of it, but you're always looking for a perfect square. And it's a good idea to keep that perfect square at the front there, so that you'll always be pulling it out. You'll be simplifying this one, breaking this one down as you pulled out. Okay, now you might like to have a go at this one yourself. It's 2 times the square root of 18. So just pause the video and have a go. Okay, now you'd write that as 2 times the square root of, now perfect square root is 9. That's 9 times 2, which equals 2 times the square root of 3 squared times the square root of 2, which is 2 times 3 times root 2, which is, of course, 2 times 3 is 6 root 2 is your final answer. Okay, now here's a more involved one. So again, pause the video and have a go. All right, now I'll break this one down. Now, 4 times 6 is the way to go with this one. So that's the square root of 4 times 6. The way to go with this one is, well, there's a number of ways, but the easiest way is to write it as 36 times 2. Now, if you don't have that as a perfect square, had another perfect square, that's okay, because you'll just have to do another line of working. This is going to be the square root of 2 squared, times the square root of 6, multiply it by the square root of 6 squared times the square root of 2. This is 2 times root 6 times 6 times root 2. Multiplying those to get two together, you get 2 times 6 is 12, root 12. However, we can go again here, because there's a, another perfect square in there as a factor, so it's 12 times the square root of, that's going to be 4 times 3, 12 times the square root of 2 squared times the square root of 3, which is 12 times 2 root 3, which gives me 24 root 3. That's my final answer. Okay, now we have to simplify 2 root 5 times 6 root 18 over 3 times square root, square root of 2. Now uh, we'll, we can simplify these numbers at the front here by saying that 3 here will go into 6 twice, and then we rewrite that as 2 times 2 here. And that will give me 4 times the square root of 5 times, this will be the square root of 9 times 2 all over root 2. Of course that is 4 root 5 times 3 root 2 over root 2. These root 2's cancel and we simply get 4 times 3, 12 root 5. That's our final answer. 